Hello everyone and welcome once again to Thursdev. I'm your host Luke and today we'll mark the first in a series of episodes dedicated to walking you through the steps of creating your game. A few weeks ago on the show I aired an episode talking about the entire process of game development titled From Pitch to Postmortem and it gave what I hope is an adequate overview of the game making process. But I thought that, as a show devoted not only to discussing theory and methods of game development, but also as a show hoping to help aspiring developers make their first game and help veteran developers remember the basics, I thought that it would be worth walking our way through the process step by step as it pertains to a development engagement. Note, of course, that as a designer and producer, the knowledge I'll be imparting here will be more focused on the bird's eye view of game development. For more in-depth sections, there will be other videos, but Though I have no intention of glossing over anything important, it's worth noting that some videos will speak in broad strokes about complicated processes that may, in practice, take days to weeks to months, in some cases even years, to complete. This also sort of assumes that you're working in some form of decision-making capacity about your game. Though it isn't exclusively geared towards small indie teams, the forthcoming advice may pertain most to people who are involved with most aspects of the process. However, in a more collaborative team environment, these are decisions that are to be made in the group, or at the very least, understood when going into a project. With that in mind, however, in today's video, and perhaps even over the course of a few videos, we aren't even going to make it into the production phase of game development. There are many steps that need to be taken by a game studio before they even begin committing code, so let's start right there, from a blank slate. When planning on making a game, there are a few questions that you should always ask yourself that are going to help you to define your project, and hopefully inform decisions that will be made about it as you go along. It's always possible, of course, just to wing it when making a game, but it's both inefficient and will only lead to giving yourself more work to do in the long run. You probably already have an idea in your head about what the game you want to create is, but if you can answer the six W's, you'll probably have a significantly easier time understanding what your goals should be while developing, which, beyond just releasing a game, should be well defined. So the what, who, when, where, how, and why of making a video game. Let's start with what since this is going to be a question you've probably already answered. What kind of game are you hoping to make? What is its genre? What other games are you using for reference? Before you can ever hope to make a game, you want to know the answer to this question as the absolute bare minimum, because you can't start without it. If this is your first game, I'd suggest that you don't reach too far. Make something orthodox, a first-person shooter, a beat-em-up, a shoot-em-up, a strategy game, a platformer, the game is up to you, but the more that you have to draw from, the better off you'll be. Regardless of your decision, however, commit to it and begin to devour other games of the genre to learn all you can about the competition and what they're doing both right and wrong. If you find a game similar to what you want to do, be especially aware of its failings as those will teach you the most about the challenges that you also will be facing. There are two important who's to answer about the planning of a game project. Who is going to make this game, and who is going to play the game? The first who should be an easy question to answer. You are, but aside from you, who is going to be helping you? Do you have a team? Are you working on your own? If you're planning on working on your own, do you have the skills to do so? If you aren't planning on going it alone but don't already have a team lined up, who's going to join you and how are you going to pay them because if this is your project and they're working for you you better have that planned out very carefully the second who can afford to be a little bit more nebulous but is nonetheless also very important who is going to play your game who's it for is this something that's going to appeal to adults teenagers fans of sports people who regularly watch twitch.tv What's your target audience for this game? You need to know who you're making the game for, or you're going to end up making something specifically for yourself, and though that's fine, how many of you are out there? Define a player profile that's broad enough that your game should appeal to the most, and always have this player in mind. If they love esports, your game should probably have a competitive element. 
If they're fans of the works of George R. R. Martin, then you should probably consider some heavy, dark fantasy narrative, and so on. It doesn't matter who the player is, you just have to keep them in mind when you're making decisions about how to make this game. By creating this player profile, you'll have a much stronger picture of what kind of player is going to be your main consumer. Now when are you going to release this game? How long do you want to work on it? How long can you do it sustainably? Are you willing to set a deadline for yourself and commit to it? Or are you going to accept a harsh reality that if you take a when it's done attitude, you may never ship? If this is your first game, this will definitely take longer than you think that it will. But think in terms of weeks, months, years. If you set a goal for time, even if you don't meet it, you're more likely to feel the pressure that you should want to feel to get your game done. Regardless of what the time frame is going to be, set one and keep it in mind while you're developing. Having milestones and a deadline in mind are always going to motivate you to work harder in order to meet them. Now, where am I going to sell this game? Even if it's free, where are people going to find it? Steam? Itch.io? Xbox? Nintendo Switch? Offering your own personal website? You need to know before you work on your game what platforms will carry this product and how to get them on there. For a beginner, PC is the most logical choice and though Greenlight is going away, Steam is still a strong viable option. But you also have Game Jolt, Itch, and other options. Regardless though, the market is very saturated and getting noticed will be difficult. Without a plan to put it in front of people, you're not going to get noticed, and the first step in doing so is having an idea exactly where your game is going to be so that people can find and play it. Now how will you make your game? The first of the who's ties neatly into this, but also consider development tools like what engine you should select to create your project. How are you going to organize your team? How are you going to manage your files and how do you plan to test the game when it's ready to be tested? What are the actual blocks between you and creating this game? And how are you going to eat day to day while you're putting your time into making this game? Is this your day job? Or are you doing this in your spare time? If that's the case, that's also going to factor very strongly back into your when. Consider all of these points and have contingencies as well for potential points of failure. And finally, the jerk question. There are two whys that need to be answered. One internal and one external. Why are you making this game? And why would someone else play your game? You obviously want to make a game or you wouldn't start. And it may be a passion project, but do you want to make it succeed? Is this a game jam project? A school project? An indie game? A small company's many forays into the world of game development? Is the reason you're doing it strong enough to keep you interested through all the hard parts you'll inevitably have to push through, or is there a chance that you'll give up when the going gets rough? Know thyself. Know what's motivating this project. It can be passion, it can be distraction, it can be financial, but also know that some of these things may not sustain you through the weeks, months, or years, especially if you can't achieve one of them. The other why is why would someone want to play your game? The cold hard truth is that the games market is saturated. It's oversaturated. If you build it, they will come is not a statement that works for us, and there is nothing new under the sun, and you can bet that there are others very similar to your game out there already. They might be as good or better, so what is it that makes your game worth playing and not theirs? What separates you from the crowd? Does your game have a unique selling point that other games don't have that people are looking for? Is it a niche that's severely underserved? There's a reason why Clash of Clans clones fail, and why there has yet to be a definitive WoW killer in the MMO space. If someone wants to play World of Warcraft, they can already play World of Warcraft. There are so many platformers and RPGs and action shoot 'em ups out there that in order to succeed, yours has to be interesting enough to catch someone's attention. So think about why someone would play your game over another one. It can be art style, it can be narrative, it can be a specific gameplay mechanic, it doesn't matter what it is as long as there's something out there that you can use to tell people why this game is different, why they should bother spending their money, 
time and effort in playing the game that you're creating for them. If you can answer each and every one of the above questions with confidence, then you're ready to start working on your game's pitch, and that's what we'll get started on next week. In the meantime, however, I'd like to thank you for joining me in this episode of Thursdev. I hope that you enjoyed it and were educated as well as entertained. If you want to keep up with this series of videos, please consider subscribing to our channel or following the Thursdev playlist on Level Zero NPCs. That way, you'll get notifications, maybe, when we create new content. Otherwise though, I'm just glad that you're here and stuck with me to the end, and I hope to see you next time as well as we dive into the pitch creation process. In the meantime though, take care.